Hey everybody, Brendan here, aka Mr. Weaverface, and this is an update on my video game room. Just to summarize, PlayStation games all in order, Commodore 64 games all in order, Super Nintendo stuff, uh, it's been hanging out. Uh, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put together a huge media shelf unit and put it in this general area and this is the bad mother right here um, it's called the oscar media shelf it holds 1080 cds and it has adjustable shelving which is what i wanted uh, to hold some uh, cartridge only games and also box games to be able to rearrange how they look on the shelving uh, this bad mother weighs like over 60 pounds um, so i'm going to put this thing together uh, kind of clear a path in my game room <laughs> to get over there and uh, put it all up and see what the end result looks like. Stay tuned. Here's the finished product. Don't have the shelving in yet, uh, but as you can see, pretty solid. Uh, one thing that I noticed when I was putting it together that some of these uh, pieces here, the vertical pieces, they weren't exactly straight, so it was kind of a, a pain to get the bottom board in there. But once everything's pretty much uh, screwed up tight and everything, it looks pretty solid and I think once I put the shelves in there to space it out that that'll even that out as well um, and one last note um, when I was putting this uh, back piece on uh, do if you're if you get this do one piece first the whole piece and then there's like I don't know you can't really see it here um, but there's a little seam here it's like fitting a puzzle piece together um, so fit the seam and make sure that's flush before doing the second piece because I started doing each piece on its end like the top and the bottom How come it's not in focus? There we go um, So I started doing the top and the bottom and then when I did that there was a huge gap here at the seam that you can actually see through from this side So I just redid that um, And you can see a little bit over there, but once I put stuff on the shelves, it should be okay. So it took me about an hour to put together. I was fooling around a little bit, just making sure I had everything. Uh, there were, were a couple dings um, in some of the pieces, uh, especially since I noted the ding on the box when I first opened it up. But everything was packaged pretty well. Um, so I think this is gonna be a great uh, asset to my video game room. Uh, so again, this is the, uh, the 1000 
uh, the 1080 CD uh, rack with adjustable shelves. Alas, the finished product. Da, 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 da. Awesome. I was worried getting it. I mean, it looked like a pretty solid uh, shelving unit uh, for media. Um, but let me just show you a couple of my concerns. Um, I did not buy this uh, after looking at it in a store or anything. I just bought it by looking at, at it online. So I really didn't know what it would look like in person. Uh, because this shelf here in the middle is solid. But it turns out uh, there's plenty enough. That you get a lot of extra shelves. Um, pretty much you get enough shelves to do the CD style spacing the entire way down. But I really didn't need to do that. So I was able to do the CD style spacing on the top half there and then the DVD style spacing on the bottom. And it actually spaces out perfect. I was worried about there be like a weird shelf spacing, uh, but it looks pretty uniform on the bottom half and as well as the top half. And you can see the top half CD style spacing is perfect for the Nintendo 64 games. Um, easy to get out. There's about 17 carts on each shelf um, with minimal wasted space on each shelf. Perfect. So that is so awesome and I'm so pleased that I got this. Um, I will give links um, and details on the style of the media shelving unit that this is. Um, and I may have you know, listed it earlier in the video as well. But again, subscribe to the channel, stay updated on my video game room reboot. I'm trying to make this a more happening space that I can enjoy. I'm trying to make it more organized. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Brendan, aka Mr. Weaverface. Take care.